Oh, sorry guys. It happens a lot on my iPad. Um, I get like 40 minutes in and then it freezes for some reason. So hopefully if I pop open um, this one, you've made your, your way over. So yeah, sorry about that. I'll just give it a second before I continue for, for people to come back in. Hi JJ, Brissetti, Keith, Selkie. Um, I did, I've just posted in the old one as well that there is a new link to look out for. So hopefully, we had around 56 I think when it went down and we're just coming up to 20 looking at the count. So I'll just give it a minute or two um, for people to get here if they want to continue to see the deck because I'd hate for them to miss some of the cards or we have to go back. But I'll try and keep this no longer than, I don't know, another 15, 20 minutes just so that uh, it doesn't freeze again. So thank you for, for joining us um, for part two. Um, yeah, so shall we, shall we continue? So I think we was up to the Queen of Cups. So here is our Queen of Cups. She's just gorgeous. And what, what do you guys think? Do you like the fact that the Miners has... Oh, Shane, woohoo, just landed in London. Still waiting to get off though. Let me just have a look what uh, he's saying. I highly, I highly doubt I'll make it for the first train, so be prepared for that. Let's just send him back. No worries. I'm live. Should I say everybody says hi to him? Everyone says hi. And I'll put welcome to the UK. Yay, he's on British soil, he's here, he's with us. There we go, let's get chat back open. Yes, yeah, so I've said hi from you all as well. So here's our king, our king of cups. He's at Stansted, Max, he's at Stansted. So now he has to try and get... Um, through immigration, collect his bag and get over from Stansted to central London, which is quite a way, and then get from central London on the London Underground to St Pancras for the 6.30 train, which is two hours away. I doubt he'll do it. Um, but we did buy a reserve ticket, or he bought a reserve ticket after we spoke to him. So he'll probably get to Nottingham now at uh, quarter past ten. Okay, so let's have a look at our swords. Swords is pink for the colour. So yeah, I was asking the question once, do you like the fact that there is one single splash of colour for each of the suits? Or would you rather see probably two or three colours like we've seen in Marseille decks? Because I actually quite like the fact they just have one colour for each suit. Hi Samantha, hi Sammy, hope you're okay. This is part two, I lost, lost connection. He's just sent a smiley face to everybody. He's really exhausted as well. He's been awake now for about, I think, 38 hours. Um, so, hi Elaine. I was just saying, Elaine, if you've just come, that um, Shane has just texted. He's just touched down in the UK. He's still on the plane. He hasn't got off yet, but he, because of the delays, both planes were delayed. He's probably not gonna make the train that will get him into Nottingham for half past eight. So he'll probably be on the one now that gets him here at quarter past ten. Yes. No, he got another foster brother of his to drive him to the airport. Yeah, so it worked out for him in the end. Um, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that a gorgeous pink? I like the one splash of colour. Do you feel like the swords or ones have been swapped elements? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Because of the colour association? Are you saying? Yeah, the pink is gorgeous. I love our two of swords. She has her eyes closed, she's looking down. I can still imagine the water behind her. Um, but look, beautiful moon as well. Oh, just stunning. I'll 
Three of Swords. Hi, Kirsten. I know, Elaine, you missed the majors as well. The majors are amazing. But at the end, I'll show you the Hermit card because we've spoken, haven't we, about the Hermit card. Four of Swords. And they're huge. Five. And people were saying, are they pip, more pip style, are they Rider Waite Smith? They, some are pipish, but they are, you can tell they're based on the Rider Waite Smith. In fact, the next one, the Six of Swords, we know the traditional image of the boat. And there you have it here, look. Can't get over the quality as well of this deck. And look, the Nine of Swords, that being woken up, that kept awake at night it's, it's all there the 10 is very dramatic very powerful a page oh wow look at the night look at that and this dolphin here it's amazing Beautiful queen, although she's beheaded somebody with her sword. <laughs> she's just kind of like, mm. wow, she's like Marie Antoinette, isn't she? And our king. It's of an era, the courts here are of that sort of Elizabethan era, aren't they? I love the Queen of Swords and Famo. So our final suit to look at is the Pentacles. Um, and it's green is the colour. I feel quite stirred up looking at some of the images as well. They really are powerful and beautiful. We have four. Pentacles are yummy, says JJ. So have you filmed your unboxing and walkthrough, JJ, of this deck? Isn't that amazing? I love it. The four pentacles, it's perfect. It's like, you know, it's very Rider Waite Smith. My five of pentacles <laughs> depicted beautifully. It's all there, instantly recognisable. Yes, it's all, but I just did it as I saw you. Oh, I can't wait to watch. Six. So do check out the Jolly Old Tarot as well, who's done a walkthrough of this deck. And our nine with the bird. It's beautiful. Oh, I love the ten. We've even got the dog still. The old guy there who is in the right away Smith is, is patting patting the dog. Yes, I agree, Elaine. It's it's not usable in terms of I wouldn't use it for readings on others. But certainly for, uh, for working on a personal level, I would. And as I said earlier, uh, for meditation and things like that, I think it would be perfect or path working. Our page. The night. Wow. Our queen. Oh, I love the hair. Love it. It's like it's from another world. And now King. Wow, so people who's just come in for part two, uh, like Elaine, that's how thick the deck is. 
um, in terms of comparison with a Radowitz Smith deck, you can see the difference there. Thickness, amazing, and it is matte. And I need to show you the Hermit card because, uh, oh, and also look at the High Priestess. The majors are black and white. Um, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Strength card, look at the strength card, look at the lion. Holy cow, that's thick, says Danny. But look, look at my hermit. Isn't that just everything? Oh, powerful. And let's show you the devil. Oh, the hangman, the hangman is great. But death, look at death. And there's our handsome devil with his big hands. I said strength is like Asian, as in a uh, Asian influenced art work. Oh, I've just noticed as well, on the strength card, look how the, the paw comes round. Look at the lion's paw and the tail here, wrapping round her. And she's got complete control, and complete trust, that unity. Oh, amazing. I love it, this deck. So there you go. So that is a deck that I can't pronounce. I can't wait to hear how um, JJ pronounces it because did you pick up his line in his video the other day? He says, I just put on an accent. If I don't know how to say something, I just put, put on an accent and it sounds more convincing. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna have to remember that. So I believe it is the Aculi Acultate. Acultate, so like the Acult, but it's Acultate. Huli Akutati Tarot. It's going to be backwards for you guys, I know, sorry. So, yeah, um, and it is available from, for those just coming in, um, where I got it from, which is Scarlet Imprint. You do get this authenticity card. This is deck number 124 of 900, and they were printed on the 11th of August of this month. They were printed 19 days ago, and there was only 900. They are huge. They are really, really large, but they are stunningly beautiful. I can't remember the last time I bought a tarot deck that I was so excited about and so in love with um, just on that. Um, well, no, not just on that. Um, I was going to say on the kind of um, the aesthetics, but it's more because it really touches me here on some of the cards. It's like a really powerful reaction to it. So before I freeze again, I'm just gonna see if there's any quick questions before I head off. I do have a lot to do still before uh, Shane's arrival. I scrub the bath out. Ugh. <laughs> you just do that, don't you? I'm a guy who lives on my own. I, I clean my bath out like once a month. <laughs> Unless somebody, the last time I cleaned it was when Kelly Bear came to stay. Um, so any questions, guys, about anything to do with the deck? Before I go, again, I'd buy an animal deck from this artist in a heartbeat, says Molly Black, Black and Blue. I fell in love with the devil in this deck, says Vemo. Um, oh dear God, says the jolly old tarot. I did Simon, so funny. Oh, I think we're referring to. Uh, JJ's comment, I used an accent, but not on the title. I'll be interested to see how you pronounce it then. Um, have fun tonight. Well, it's gonna be very late. It's gonna be very late. And he will have been awake, I think, about 40 hours by then. So we're just gonna have some fish and chips and then he can get his head down and see how long he sleeps for until tomorrow. And then we'll do a bit of 
sightseeing and things. Take it easy, I think, tomorrow, and we'll, we'll do some more on Saturday. And we'll be here for the Cuppa Catch Up and Cards. Um, so that'll be fun, won't it? On the bathtub. Hi, talk, Talking Spirit, Laughing with Ghosts. That's a great name. Talking Spirit, Laughing with Ghosts. Hello. What is your favourite deck with intergalactic connections? Oh my life. I suppose the only one I've, I've got really is my little mom's tarot. I know you mean intergalactic connections in terms of things being otherworldly as well and not necessarily a, a kind of an alien themed deck, but that one's kind of intergalactic for me. Thank you, Bella. And, and thank you, Kirsten. Okay, so if there's no other questions then, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for, um, you know, having a chat with me midweek. I don't normally do them midweek, but I thought it was time I did a live unboxing. I've done quite a few uh, static unboxings. My arm is getting a little bit better. That was from an iron burn. One or two people have sent me comments saying, I noticed your arm, I hope you're okay. What have you done? It was just, I leaned on the iron because I wasn't paying attention. So, but it's getting better. Um, thank you, you too, Danny and uh, Marsha. Um, yeah, so take care, guys. Have a fantastic uh, end to your week. I will be back on Saturday with Shane for um, Hermit's Wonder. And yeah, until then, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be. Bye, guys.